Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do this great big pillowcase of a uh, clover. Um, so this is a 16 by 16 pillow insert. You can find these at Walmart. You can buy them online at Amazon. And this um, is roomy. It's hard to show you, but there's a lot of room, even with this fully fluffed up, that um, you could probably stick in a bigger. I'm just going to make sure this is actually 16 by 16. But um, you can stick in a bigger. Um, yeah, this is 16 by 16. So you can stick in a bigger insert. Um, I'm going to stick in my, um, I have 18 by 18 pillows upstairs that I just want to put this on as a cover. So I'm going to do that for mine because once I get the second one built, so both sides have one, um, there's going to be plenty of room to put an 18 by 18 pillow in it. So that's what I'm doing. However, if you can take your 16 by 16 insert build one of these and then build the back and you're gonna have plenty of room um, I don't think it'll be too great big and sloppy so um, this is built um, using tapestry crochet obviously and I'm gonna bring it in a bit here so um, this is an eight or sorry, this is 11.5 millimeter. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. 11.5 millimeter hook. And this is what I've used. This is called Chanel Home. And this color, so this off-white type of color, is just cream. This calls for an 11.5, and that's why I'm using an 11.5. And it worked out nice and tight, actually. And then this is the same stuff, and the color is spruce. So those are the colors that I am using for this pillowcase. So, let's jump right into this. My instructions here, I've got them all written out. So I use a graph GAN, as some of you know, and I do, I do all the counting and everything else, so you don't have to do that. So this yarn is a bulky seven, and they're 8.8 .8 ounce balls, and for that one, I used a half a skein of of the green and three quarters of a skein of white. So I wrote that all down there to tell you. So we're going to first start by chaining with our cream. We're going to first start. The reason I got the green background is for the white. And it should be good enough to use this darker color of green against. So you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain. 27. This is great stuff to work with, but you've really got to do extended stitches. So that's my 27 stitches. And you're going to do 26 single crochets back up because your 27th one is still on your hook. So you can do it in the back bumps or whatever you want to do, but I am putting my two pieces together. So I'm going to need these two bottom pieces. So I'm just going to use the one top piece to go back up. Now it's so bulky and you're using um, the proper hook. So you're not going to get a lot of gapping if you use that just that one piece from your stitch. 
just a suggestion. You can do whatever you think is right, whatever you want to do. But do 26 single crochets back up. So that's my 26 back up. Um, if you're not using the same hook size I am or the Chanel or anything is different, it's not going to be the same size. It's not going to fit a pillow. So you can't just use a four weight yarn and a five single crochet or five single crochet hook, a five millimeter hook. It's not going to work. So chain one, turn your work. Round two, we're going to incorporate the color. But first, I need you to do 10 single crochets with the cream. Two, four, six, eight. So this is my tenth stitch. I'm going to bring in my green and I'm going to finish the stitch. So you can choose to weave or not. Um, I'm not going to weave. Uh, with your green I just want you to do one single crochet so you're basically just pulling up a loop and going back to your cream or your white I'll just call it white and then you can do 15 single crochets to the end My white does not want to pull it out. So don't forget you got this turning over stitch. So this last stitch at the end that likes to go sideways. Just make sure you get into that as well. So this is the beginning of our shamrock. So that's just part of the stem. So chain one, turn your work. I am not sure what's going on with my cream. It does not want to feed very well. So, I might zoom out a little bit, just because this is so big. So, round three is going to be 14 single crochets with your cream. So, to start off, we're just doing the stem, obviously. This is my 14th stitch. So because I'm at the back of the project, see this is where I got all my other crap back here. I'm going to bring this forward and I'm going to pop across. Just make sure you don't pull tight on that particular part. 
and I'm going to do two green. So the first green is going to go into the white stitch. This is my second green, so I'm going to finish that with my white. And then I'm going to do 10 single crochets to the end. So you need about 15 fingers to do this big stuff. but it is so cozy. I absolutely love this stuff. So I'm on my last stitch. I'm not gonna be so awkward once this ball, once I switch my ball out. Right now it's just not feeding properly. Round four is going to be 11 single crochets with your white. So your 11th stitch goes in your first green stitch. So I'm going to finish that with my green. And then with my green, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm just going to bring up a loop. I'm going to finish it with my white. And I'll just leave my green hanging and do 14 single crochets to the end. So chain one, turn your work. So we're at the back again. Um, round five is going to be 13 single crochets with your white. This is my 13th stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my green, just make sure you pull down on that. So with my green, I'm going to go into this white stitch. That's, I'm going to do two stitches. That's my first one into that white stitch, and then my second one goes on top of the green. Oh, I did not pull my white forward. Hold on a second. I'm at the back of the project, so I gotta pull my white forward before I do that. So two green. I'm gonna finish that second green with my white. And I'm gonna do 11 single crochets to the end.
So it looks like I'm really struggling with my colors, but let me explain something. First of all, this is so nice and soft, it comes apart so easily, so it's not that big of a struggle. Um, my white ball is um, having convulsions. I don't know what's going on. But it does come apart really, really, really simple. However, you, the problem is you can't make bobbins because it is so thick. I mean, once you wrap a bobbin six times, it's going to be full and then you're going to be switching all the time. So um, I like to just shake it apart, but I can't really do that while I'm trying to film the video, right? So um, off camera, when I did the first pillowcase, all I did was just shake it apart. So eventually I'm going to come to the end of this white ball and then hopefully it's not going to be so much of a struggle. A sip of my coffee. So you can chain one, turn your work. This does work up really fast because it um, is such big yarn. So you're going to do 11 single crochets with your white. And don't forget to get into this first stitch. That's weird. I'm hearing a banging noise, but nobody's in my house. <laughs> Not even the dog. My camera shut off. I only had a couple of stitches left, so I didn't turn it back on. So I, I'm at my 11th stitch. I'm going to finish it with my green. Again, I'm going to pull down on my green because I don't want it to stretch across and be tight like that. So with my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. Second one, I'm going to finish with my white because I'm going back to my white. And I'm going to do 13 single crochets to the end. So we're on round seven. So we're gonna start getting into the um, the um, actual clover part. So I want you to do three single crochets. This is my third stitch. So um, you can cut this and then weave it in later uh, or you can grab a whole other ball if you want to. I am not a fan of stretching it this far. So what I did in my original piece is I cut off a decent sized tail so that I can weave it in really well because it is Chanel and that also gave me the opportunity to unravel a bit. And then I came over here. So we're at the back. You're gonna pull your white forward. And I came over here and I started it all new all over again. So with your green, I want you to do uh, four single crochets. Okay. 
This is my fourth stitch, so I'm going to go back to the white. Oops, I forgot to pull my green forward. Hold on. Pull my green forward. And go back to the white. And with my white, I'm going to do six single crochets. This is my sixth stitch. I'm just going to use this because I've only got one single crochet to make. So I'm going to do my one single crochet. And, oh, I didn't pull my white forward. What is wrong with me today? You'd think this was the first time I'd ever done it. So I'm going to finish my stitch with my green. I'm going to do the one single crochet. And that's just with what I cut off over here to weave. So that's my one single crochet and now I'm going to do 10 back to the marker. Did I say 10 or 12? It's 12. I don't know what I just said. It's supposed to be 12 back to the marker. So you wonder why we're not doing the other leaf. It's because it starts in the next row. That's just the way the pattern worked out. So, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I wasn't counting, so I just wanted to make sure it was 12. So, uh, I'm not a fan of leaving them this short, generally. So um, I'm going to chain one and turn. My camera is overheating for some reason. So I'm probably going to not be faring so well as far as my camera and recording. I don't know why it does that. So chain one. Turn your work. I want you to do two single crochets and on the second stitch now my green is way over here so I need to start a new green so I'm starting my new green I'm gonna bring it down in a bit too with green I want you to do five single crochets This is my fifth stitch, so I'm going to finish that with white. With white, I'm going to do five single crochets. This is my fifth stitch. I'm going to finish with green and with green I'm going to do one single crochet so that's going to be my stem so I'm just basically pulling up a loop but I'm going to finish the stitch with my white with my white I'm going to do four single crochets This is my fourth stitch. I'm going to bring this green across that I have over here to finish the stitch. So I don't want to pull tight. And with green, I'm going to do seven single crochets. That's my seventh stitch. I'm going to come across with my white, but I'm not going to pull tight. And with white, I'm going to do two single crochets. So you can snug it up. Be 
before you do your single crochet or even after. So that's my second stitch. So that, actually I'm going to redo this stitch. I don't like, it's it kind of elongated itself there because I didn't snug up first. So I don't want to snug too tightly. And I'll do my two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So you can still pull that if it still seems to be snug. This is the inside of the pillowcase, so it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Round nine. We're gonna do one single crochet. Oh, sorry, one single crochet. So we're gonna switch to our green. With our green, we're gonna do nine. So you're gonna start this white stitch. So this is my ninth stitch. Go back to my white. With my white, I'm going to do three single crochets. So that's my third one. I'm going to finish it with green and I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm basically just pulling up a loop. Going back to my white. With my white, I'm going to do three single crochets. So on my third stitch, I'm going to go back to green. And with my green, I'm going to do eight single crochets. That's my eight single crochets, so I'm going to go back to my white. And I'm going to do my last stitch of one single crochet. So my back is a little messy. Chain one, turn your work. Round 10, we're gonna do go one single crochet with our white. <laughs> I almost finished it with my white, so you need to finish that with your green. With your green, you're going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white. And with my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. So I'm going to finish that with my green. And my green's not pulling out again. And with my green, I'm going to do one single crochet. So I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, um, 
I'm gonna do two single crochets. So on my second stitch, I'm gonna go back to green. And with green, if I can get it to pull out of the ball, I'm gonna do 10 single crochets. So the first one's starting in the white from the previous row. This is my 10th stitch the hard way. My white is almost done, so I'm just going to untangle it. So I'm going to finish that with my white. Just make sure you don't pull that tight. And then I'm going to do my one single crochet. So, um, I gotta go get another white ball. I'm gonna deal with this mess at the back and I'll meet you right back here. So, so far this is what we have. Um, it works out pretty quick, moving along pretty quick. So, I've taken care of, for the most part, I almost dropped my hook, stuff in the back. Uh, I did a lot of tying of knots, this is a pillow. This is going to be on a pillow insert. It's not going to be just stuffed with polyfill. It's going to be on an insert. So I don't really care what's going on in the back. As long as my front looks decent. I feel like this is pulling. So I might want to actually cut these. And then I can just tie these two pieces together. So, chain one and turn, we're on round 11, so I'm going to do two single crochets. This is number one, this is number two. I'm going to go back to my green on my second stitch, and I'm going to do ten single crochets with my green. Just make sure you're getting into each actual stitch. So it should be one into the white. So I'm going to leave this white over here for just this small area. And I'm going to start my new ball of white. And I'm going to do one single crochet. With my green, I'm going to do 11 single crochets. That's 11. <laughs> I almost kept going. And my white. So I'm going to finish that with white and I'm going to do two single crochets. So the first one goes into the green stitch from the previous row. When this gets busy, the Chanel's kind of hard to see on camera, isn't it? Two. Must just, maybe my perspective, it's always a little different. Chain one, turn your work. So we're on round 12, 
and you're going to start with three single crochets with your white. So you can weave in some of this gobbledygook from the uh, stretching across if you do that. So my third stitch I'm going to change to my green and with green I'm going to do 20 single crochets. So I'm basically going to come all the way across because we're all green now until I have three single crochet. So you're going to stop at this green stitch and you should have one, two, three. So two white and one green left. So just single crochet all the way across till you have that left. Or you can count to make sure your stitches are correct. This is my 20th stitch. So I have my white sitting over here. I'm going to finish it with my white. And I'm going to do my three single crochets. So your first single crochet is going to be, sorry, let's move my white, is going to be on your green stitch from the row before. Oops, slippery. So I am out of my white, so I just fastened off, but we're not done. So I'll just reattach with a new ball on the other side. My other ball came undone. So these butterfly um, bobbins, they're actually pretty good. Um, this stuff is a little slippery, so it came undone, but generally, so you wrap your hand that way, and then you take it off, and then you wrap this way. And it holds pretty good, so this is why it's called a butterfly, because it's like that, so. Um, like I said, generally, they're pretty good. Um, you can also clip these, so... Um, lots of people use different things. I, you can use little hair clips like this, so you just clip it to your work until you need it, right? Um, you can use little hair clips like this. Um, where's my other ones? You can use, these little clips are, are small but mighty. These little clips here. I got those, uh, these, <laughs> these clips hold really, really well. I know I'm kind of off camera, but I actually got these little clips. Um, I'll show you in a second. In a kit. In a sewing kit. So that's the sewing kit that I have. I got it on Amazon. And the little clips were in these spaces. You only get four, but they're mighty. Plus I got some of this for some projects that I do that I do actually draw on and stuff. So um, that's where those little clips come from and they're really, really handy and they're, they're, they are mighty. They are pretty powerful. So um, I have my white over here. I'm gonna make another ball of white, another butterfly thing of white because I, I need to start back over here I'm just going to make a small butterfly bobbin. But if you ever hear anyone say butterfly bobbin, that's what these are. So I'm just going to do a small one. I just need it over here to reattach. So 
So I'm just reattaching. I know you're probably waiting on me going, come on lady, row 13. So I'm gonna deal with all my stuff later. Row 13, you're gonna do two single crochets. So we did three last time. You're only doing two this time. So I'm gonna go into the same space that I'm in. So, oh, sorry, I gotta change to my green. I clipped him in there. So change to your green. It's gonna kinda have to stretch across a stitch but because we did three single crochets to end the row we were on, doing two single crochets to start leaves us this white stitch to put our green into. So just if you're stretching across like I am, just make sure that you're getting into that right stitch. You're gonna do 22 across and you're gonna then do two single crochets in white. So you can go all the way across till you have two white stitches left at the end that makes your life easier if you know that all your counts are right So this is my 22nd stitch. I had to add more green, but again, I'll deal with that after. Untangle myself here. So I've already got some white here at the back I can use. And I'm gonna do my two single crochets with my white. Chain one. Turn your work. So this is what you should have at this point. It is pretty big. Pretty big. Getting all my balls all uh, jacked up here. So now I only have one green going on. It may be okay for a bit because this is just how our rows are going. So for the next two rows, you're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna zoom out, but out a bit so I can show you. So for the next two rows, you're gonna do one single crochet with white. You're going to do 24 single crochets with your green and then one single crochet at the end for your white. So um, I'm probably not going to just do it, everything with you. Oh, I don't think I chained one. Maybe I did. It's hard to tell. So this is one single crochet. I'm not going to do all, all the rows with you change to green and then with green you're going to do 24 single crochets oh sorry <laughs> I'm not paying attention my 24th stitch I'm going to finish with my white and I'm going to do my one single crochet 
So you're going to do that same thing for your next row. So what we're doing is we're, we're coming back out with the other part of our clover over here. So go ahead, do your next row of the exact same thing, and I will see you on the other side. You have to go way up to show you. So this is what you should have after doing your two rows. You see how big this thing is? <laughs> it's going to fit a really decent sized pillow and it's, it's going to look so fantastic. I'm super excited. Can't wait to get this finished and put it together and put it on my pillow. Round 16, we're going to start with one single crochet with your white. So just basically pull up a loop and then we're going to go to the green. With your green, you're going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh one. Oh, come back down here. I've got all kinds of white. I don't really want to stretch this, but I will. So I'm going to finish that with my white. With my white, I can't see my... <laughs> with my white, I'm going to do two single crochets. So this is... <coughs> My second one, excuse me, I have a cold. I'm fighting again. Excuse me, I just sneeze. A lot. So with your green, I want you to do six single crochets. So this is my sixth stitch. I want you to do, hold on, pull down on my green. I want you to do one white. So basically you're just gonna pull up a loop. And then I want you to do seven, oh, I don't wanna take my white seven single crochets with your green this is my seventh stitch I gotta take my I gotta unravel I'm not even using this ball of white, so I'm not sure how it got all tangled, but it's on the wrong side. Anyway, two, four, six, seven. This is my seventh stitch. I'm going to finish with my white over here. And then I'm going to do my two single crochets with white. Chain one. Turn your work. We're at the back again. So, round 17. Round 17, you're going to do two single crochets with your white. So, pull this over. Okay. 
with your green, you're going to do five single crochets. So you're starting in the green that you that's already there. This is my fifth stitch. And with white, I'm going to do two single crochets. I'm going to go back to my green. And with green, I'm going to do seven single crochets. This is my seventh stitch, so I'm going to finish it with my white. No, nope, I didn't bring my green forward. So this is my seventh stitch. I'm going to bring my green over. I'm going to go to my white. Two single crochets. I'm going to bring my white over, go back to my green. With my green, I'm going to do five single crochets. go back to my white and turn the page and do three single crochets with my white. Oh, that didn't work out. I seem to have four stitches. Let me do my count. I have, I'm going to have to count. Every row should have 26 stitches. 4, 9, 10, 11, 18, 19, 20, 5, 26, 27. Yeah, I got one extra stitch in this row. I'm not sure how that happened. What do I got going on here? Let me turn it around to see where I screwed up. Somewhere in here. Somewhere over there I screwed up. I should have three single crochets here. I'm going to go fix my mistake. So I'm going to show you where my mistake happened. One, two, three, four, five. I did my two white and then I went into this stitch. That's not a stitch. That's where my white is. I should have gone into this white part. That's what I should have done. Chain one, turn your work. The Chanel is quite difficult to work with as far as seeing where your colors are and stuff. I'm not sure what happened there. That looks weird. I don't think that's on my first one. No, it's not. We're right in this area, so I'm not sure what that's all about. I must have done a stitch funny or something there. So... We're around 18, so we're going to 26. We're just about done. Um, these uh, 20 to 23 is all going to be the same, so it's going to be easy peasy for you. So we're on round 18, and we're going to start with eight single crochets with our white.
This is my eighth stitch. I'm going to go to green. And with my green, I'm going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to finish it with my white, but I have white over here, so I'm going to use that. Pull down on my green, and with white, I'm going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth one. It's a chain one, turn your work. It's where things always get all jacked up because I'm on the back end now. So with your white, you're gonna do eight single crochets. This is my eighth stitch. Oh, I just dropped my whole ball. So I'm just gonna pull that across, finish it with my green. So I have a stitch in there I don't wanna miss. With my green, I'm gonna do 10 green. So starting on the first white here. This is my 10th stitch. Don't forget to bring your green forward. Finish it with your white. And with your white, you're gonna do eight single crochets. This is my last stitch. Chain one. In your work. Oh, I got all these pieces. So this is where we're going to do four rows. So I'm going to do the first one with you and then put it up on my screen what you have to do. So you're going to do seven single crochets with your white. This is my seventh stitch. So I'm going to finish it. with my green. With my green, I'm going to do 12 single crochets. It's my eighth stitch, but I'm going to have to add more. Oh, I almost dropped that ball too. So that's my eighth stitch. I'm 
I'm going to tie these two just to be safe. I think this is my 12th stitch. I gotta count. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Yeah, so this is my 12th stitch. Do I have white over here? Yes, I do. I dropped my white ball so it's kind of hidden. And then I'm going to do seven single crochets to the end. So, for the next three rows, so we just did one together. This is a four row repeat. So we just did one of them together for the next three rows. And I'm gonna put it up on my pause screen. You're gonna do seven white, 12 green, seven white. So just follow what you have here already for the next three rows. So I have done my three rows. I'm just going to chain one and turn. So this is what you should have. See why it's important to put your, <laughs> your balls onto your work? So this is what you should have by now. So, round 24, we're going to do eight single crochets with our white. So eight takes you into the green by one stitch. I'm going to pull, finish that with my green. Oh, part of my, part of my green is frayed. So, with my green, I seem to pull down on that. With my green, I'm going to do four green. And I'm going to bring my white across from this side. Because I don't want to start a third ball of white. I'm going to do two single crochets with my white. This is going to be the middle of that last clover. So after my second stitch, I'm going to, or on my second stitch, I'm going to go back to my green. With green, I'm going to do four single crochets. Oops. This is my fourth stitch. Put that over there. So I'm going to bring this same white I was using back again this way. Leave my other white on the other side. And with my white, I'm going to do eight single crochets to the end. That's my eighth stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. So this is the last row we're going to use with color. The final row is just going to be with white. We're going to do nine single crochets with our white. So again, you're going to come in on that green a little, uh, one stitch. This 
is my ninth stitch. So I'm going to bring this across. And I'm going to finish this with my green. With my green, I'm going to do two single crochets. So I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to go back to my white. So I got to kind of flip flop this around just not so it doesn't get all twisted. Because I think that's what I was doing wrong before and it got so badly twisted. With my white, I'm going to do four single crochets. It is so easy to lose your stitches in this row. So just take your time. So I'm going to bring my green back over. And I'm going to do two single crochets. My white. And this is how I get twisted because I don't bring the green back around this way. So with my white, I'm going to do nine single crochets. This is my ninth stitch. I'm going to chain one. So we are done with the green. Our last row is just going to be with the white. So cut your green off with a, with a long tail because you're going to want to weave that in. I'm just wrapping mine back into a butterfly. Okay, so we'll weave that in later. So your last row is just with your white. And it's one single crochet in each stitch across, so easy peasy. I've got two balls of white I'm working with here. So you can cut off one of the whites, probably. I'm going to do mine after. So one single crochet in each stitch across with your white. And um, if you're going to um, crochet the two ends together, you probably only have one end right now. But um, for those of you who are on your second piece, um, I'm going to continue the video to show you what I did to turn this into a pillowcase. So we'll complete the whole entire pillowcase if you want. Um, that'll be in the next chapter. For now, let's just finish this chapter and we'll talk about that later. So 26 single crochets, one in each stitch all the way across. So that's the end of my white. I'm just going to back out a couple stitches because I don't really want to leave it I want to leave at least a decent tail. So I'm going to cut this with a decent tail to weave in and then I'll just add more white over here. Of course I only got a few stitches left and I couldn't manage to finish. So I'm going to tie these two in a knot just for safekeeping. These, none of these knots you're going to feel through the pillowcase. So that is it. We are done. I'm going to stay connected because I'm not done with my using my own. There we go. This is so soft. I don't know if you've ever touched Chanel or you've ever used it, but oh my god, it is so soft. Can't wait to use this pillow. So I've got now my two pieces done. 
So this weird little jog was in the pattern. It must have been in the pattern because I have it in both of mine. So I don't write the graphs. I don't make the graphs. I just take the graphs and I, I just take the graphs. I turn them into numbers and I walk you through it. So um, I'm not sure whose graph this is. Um, it doesn't really tell you. It's just a whole page you can go uh, to get graph GANs. That's what you're looking for if you want to Google them. They're called graph GANs. I went Google Tapestry Crochet because you're not going to get a whole lot. But graph GANs. So, if you're staying with me in the next chapter to put this pillowcase together, then great. If you are leaving me now because you just wanted the graph GAN itself done, then thanks for joining me, guys. So I have a pillow here that is just an old pillow that I've had laying on my couch. Um, it is, it's time for a new cover. So it's the same size as the insert that I showed you earlier. But that's what's I'm that's what I'm shoving inside my pillowcase. So if you are ready with your other end, so this needs to go back to front, obviously. Um, it's not a whole lot of um There's not a whole lot of uh, room to show you. Just make sure it's all going the same way. So you're going stitch for stitch because this is all the same size. So I'm not weaving in any of my stuff. Um, I will deal with weaving it in as I kind of go along and I see it. That's just kind of how I'm going to roll. So, making sure this is all kind of even. I'm going to take my, hopefully I have enough white. So I'm on the edge right here. I'm going to go right into the same corner. I'm going to pull through, even though it's kind of backwards. <laughs> I'm going to pull through. I'm not making a single crochet or anything. But this is a corner. So to keep it square, I'm going to want to put another single crochet in that same corner. And I'm going to want to repeat that in every single corner, putting two single crochets. So you can do slip stitches if you want. I'm going to do a single crochet. So you just need to make sure you're going stitch for stitch. That's the only thing. So you just need to make sure you're going stitch for stitch and it is so bulky and I get that. So this is going to be time consuming but the outcome is going to be absolutely phenomenal. I have a raw side that I'm trying to deal with. It's going to be a lot easier with stitches but just try to match up your raw edges like you you have your turning over spots pick it up and throw it down so I can show you properly so you've got your turning over spots so here's two turning over spots that you can identify let me come in it might help you out so do you see what I mean about raw side to raw side but when I say go stitch for stitch because these are your turning over stitches and these so you, you see you can see where they match up so I need you to keep those matched up and go stitch for stitch. If you want to um, clip these together, like get them all matched up. Let me get my clips. Get these all matched up so that you're not constantly working and pulling and stuff like that. Let me get these little clips because they're super duper super duper strong um, oh and once you got your edges matched up you can
can just clip them. That way you don't lose your spot. Clip your corners so you know that those corners match up. Find your next spots. And then you can just kind of unclip as you get to them. And that kind of keeps things nice and tidy and straight so you know where you're at. So you basically are just sticking your hook in wherever you can get it in going stitch for stitch. And technically it's not stitch for stitch, but just make sure you're pulling tight um, when you do this. So you know you're seaming it up at least tight, nice and tight like that. So I'm going to put a little decorative thing around the outside of mine. Um, not too decorative, but we don't want it all girly or anything. And I'm going to do mine with green. So. And then when you get to the sides that have stitches on them, obviously you're going to go stitch for stitch. So. So I'm back around to a corner and I'm going to put two in this corner. Just to keep it a square. So you have stitches up here. So you're still just going to make sure you're going stitch for stitch. It's just easier when you actually have stitches to go into. So I've got, I'm all the way around, other than the last part I just dropped my hook other than the last part where I gotta put the pillow in <clears throat> there we go there I got my pillow inside it's pretty big I can't put my camera up any higher. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue to close off my end here. And I'll meet you right back here. So I am, I got my pillow all closed off. Um, I had already put two stitches in here. Oh, I'm backwards. I'd already put two stitches in here um, when I first started this. So I'm just going to go in and slip stitch to fasten off. So I'm going to need a decent size sewing tail or weaving tail, I mean. Just because you want to make sure you weave this Chanel in pretty good. There. That's a big pillow. Um, so I said I was going to do a border, but I really don't think I need one. I thought it would look actually worse than what it does, but I don't think I need a border because the Chanel is so nice and, and thick when you work with it. It just puts this nice thick border around it anyway. I keep getting stuck on all my pins over here. I certainly don't have room on my table for this pillow. So I'll weave everything in after, since I can't <laughs> even get this whole pillow in on camera. It's zoomed out all the way. Yeah, I can't zoom out anymore, but anyway, I'll pick my camera up. I gotta move all this stuff to pick my camera up. 
There we go. Oh, where is it? Gotta go out that way. There we go. So, thanks for joining me, guys. It's pretty big. Happy St. Patty's Day. I'll see you in the next video.